hello guys welcome to robot framework tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to explain how you can click the element using the link text or partial link text so in the previous tutorial if you see we have identified the web elements on the web page using ID and name now in this tutorial I'll explain how you can find the element using link text or partial link text and click using the robot framework so let's see the demo website so let me open ebay.com here so here you can see that these are at the top are the links of daily deals or sell or help and uh, contact or if you scroll down there are a lot of links in the footer as well now if i want to click on any one of these links say for example sell right so you can see that if I type in cell um, there are eight matches on this particular page and if I want to click on uh, this link cell which link it will click on first so it will click the first link that it will find on the page so at the, at the moment you can see the first one is the the first at the top if I go next you will see that there are some other cell uh, text here this is not the link but if we go further you can find that yes um, this is start selling link or learn to sell so uh, with the link text it will click only on the link that is completely matching but with partial link text if you specify sell it can click any of the link that contains that particular partial text so let's understand link text first and then the partial link text so if i go to the selenium library here you can see the locating web elements and in the web elements locating you can see that we have the option to click on the element using link or the partial link text right so with the link text it will click on the exact text the link has and the format is basically link and then colon and whatever the link is right with the partial link the format is partial link colon and the partial link that you want to specify so let's go to PyCharm and specify the link so here you can see it is the same script nothing different opening the browser maximizing browser and then I'll click on certain link and then I'll sleep uh, I'll ask the browser to sleep for certain uh, certain duration which is four seconds and then close the browser right so clicking on the link say for example sell link if you go to the ebay.com here i want to click on this first sell link so what i need to specify is click link two spaces and then you can just specify link then colon and the link text right so now on this ebay.com whichever link will come first which will contain the cell text will get clicked so let's run this particular script and see that it is getting clicked so it's opening the browser it opened ebay.com maximize the browser and you can see now it has clicked on cell link and now will wait and close the browser right so similarly if we go to ebay.com again let me open it and here I want to click on start selling right so just copy this link here start selling and go to PyCharm and specify the link text start selling and run the script again and this time it will go to the footer and click on start selling link so you can see it scroll down and it clicked on start selling right so you can see the test case has passed so how do you verify or how do you make sure that the link that you are specifying is actually a link so if you just identify the element so if you right click on the element and click on inspect in chrome browser right and it will open the console and here you can see that this anchor href so this is basically this anchor text and this is the link 
so any uh, line that starts with this anchor is basically the link and the text that is that you can click on that particular anchor is the link text that you can utilize for clicking on the link now if you want to sp specify the partial link text so there is a possibility that there is a link in which one particular uh, object or one particular word is the static word but then there is a dynamic element or dynamic word that get generated or there is some id say for example uh, username and then there is underscore and uh, id gets generated uh, dynamically one two three four five so in that sort of scenarios it is advisable to use the partial link text and provide the uh, static part of the link right so for example here start selling or in the user ID generation if the user ID is something like user 1 underscore 345 user 2 underscore 3789 then you can just specify partial link and then specify user and it will click on the user and it will ignore the dynamic part of that link so in that sort of scenarios you can specify partial link so to specify partial link what you can just say is just specify just a uh, say for example in seller information center i'll just say seller okay so here i'll won't specify the full details i'll just say seller information or just seller info remove the other details and change this link to partial link now because we are clicking on the partial link and not the full link so now in this case what will happen is it will click on the partial link rather than the full link so let me close this now it will click on the seller information right seller information center let me copy and see how many values are there so there is just one match for seller information center on this page so it should click on this help and contact uh, link seller information center so let me open the pie chart here so because i have specified partial link it will find seller info wherever it is available on your page and click on that particular link let me run this script and it will open ebay.com maximize the browser and then scroll down and we'll click on seller information center right so you can see it has clicked on seller information center and we'll close the browser and the test case has passed right so that's how you utilize the link and partial link web element locators in selenium and use those into the robot framework to click on the links in your test script so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching